What's up guys, this is Walid, and today's problem is a pressure and force. Okay. So, they want to know in the first question, what's the pressure of the fluid on the bottom of the tank? So they want the pressure on this point in here, the bottom point. So, since it's open in here, that means we need to add the atmospheric pressure. Okay, which is equal to 101, 300 Pascal. And then we need to add the pressure that's from the water. Okay, so P, atmospheric pressure, plus the pressure from water, which is equal to P, P, the water, the density of the water times G times the height. And the height in this case is 3D. Okay, so we have 101, 300 plus thousand times nine point eight one times three times point four four and for this guy I got one one four two four nine point two Newton per meter squared. Now they want to know what's the force of the fluid on the bottom of the tank. So they want to know the force in here. Okay, so we know the force is equal to the pressure times the area, okay, and the area on the bottom is just 2d times d, okay. So let's do that. So the answer you get from here, you're just gonna plug it in here. It's 114249.2 times the area, which is 2d times d, okay. Now for me. The answer was for this guy was four four two three seven point two. Okay, that's a Newton. And now what's the pressure of the fluid on the surface of A? A is right here. And we know that the pressure at all these points in here is gonna be the same. Okay. So the pressure for this guy is gonna be atmospheric pressure plus the P, G, and then the H is going to be just 2D in this case, okay? So 101, 300, plus 1000, plus 9.81, times 2, times 0.44. And for this guy, I got... 109932.8 newton per meter squared. Now, what's the total force of the fluid in the surface A? We do the same thing. Force is equal pressure times area. So the answer you get from here, you plug it in here. Then the area of A is just d squared. Okay which is just from here to here. Okay, so th this, this area is just d squared. So 109932.8 times the area, which is just d squared. Just let me just, it's 0.44 squared. And for this guy, I got 2182.9. Nine. Cool. All right. So now this is like worth some time to explain. Number five. It's gonna take a little bit of time because we're gonna use integration. There's two ways. There's a way that I found this equation on a YouTube video or uh, or Yahoo Answers or some like that, where they have this equation that you just can't apply and just get the answer. Um, but let me just go through the integral first. So. Let me draw this guy. All right, so close enough. This is area B. Is it B? Yeah, they call it B. So this is area B. Okay, so let's call this. Like if we take a small piece of this guy and call it DA, 
okay and the distance from here to here is just dx and then the distance from here to here is just w in here okay so da is going to be equal to w dx okay does that kind of make sense and what we're going to do is the force is equal to pressure times dA in this case okay pressure at each point and dA we can solve for that pressure times dA dA is W and W in this case if you go back to the question is just like D okay so we'll substitute it so DA is going to be equal to D DX okay so in this case it's D DX it's going to confuse because there's like two D's in here um, okay. yeah D DX so now the force is equal to the pressure the pressure in this case is the force is going to be and the and, I mean the pressure is going to be the pgh plus p atmosphere okay and then this is dx and then we have a d in here which is this d in here cool and then we just integrate this thing Integrate d p g h plus p atmospheric d x. Okay. Well, and the x is in here is just the same as the d h. I should have called it d h. So this guy is d h. D h. Because we're different. We're integrating with respect to h h is the variable that does change in the equation so let's integrate this guy so d let's take this out keep it out the pgh this is constant this constant and h is just going to be h squared the total thing divided by 2 plus this is going to be constant so when you integrate a constant it's just going to add um, and h to it so p a t m okay and this is going from 2d to 3d 2d to 3d okay makes sense so let's just apply everything so i just took inside the d so I'm gonna, just going to give you the full numbers. So 1,000 times 9.81 times. And then when you add the 3D in there, it's 9 and then D cubed. D cubed plus 101, 300 times 3 times D squared. And this one divided by 2. And then minus, you just gonna um, now put the 2D inside the equation. Okay, it's just too long for me to do. I'm just gonna give you the direct answers now. So it's Six two five nine five point four two four eight minus four zero oh, eight nine four point six seven, and for this guy I got twenty one seven hundred point eight zero. Okay. So this is when you substitute three D in this equation in here. So this is the three D sub. Now this is the two D sub. When you sub 3D in this equation, let me do it again here. And then when you sub this one also in here. Okay, just basic integration. And then you get this answer in here.
And then the other equation that you can just apply if you don't really want to know how to do it is just the going to be the force on B. You're asking about the force, right? Yeah. Total force. So force on B is going to be the area of B times 5 divided by 2 d the density of the water g plus p a t m okay i'm not really sure how they got the 5 divided by 2 in here but what i'm guessing is that because if you look at this guy in here there's some way that the pressure keeps increasing as you go down you know keep keep increasing as you go down so I'm guessing the summation of it um, or the average of it's gonna multiply times 5 divided by 2 is gonna give you kind of the average but I'm, I'm not really sure you know anyway guys if you have any question let me know and hope this helped take care bye